All right, welcome back to the Broken Pilot House Part 3. Here we have the gunnel damage. Pretty severe. Had to do quite a bit of grinding to get this all cleaned up so we could get some fresh glass on it. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a good idea just to do a partial drop of the rubber rail. Shortly after all this, I decided to just take the whole rubber rail off the boat completely because we got to replace it anyway, so let's not do things halfway here. And at this point here, I was just kind of feeling to see how uh, hard it was, to, how hard it was going to be to get these rubber rail screws out. Uh, once I did a couple of them by hand, I decided it was time to go get the drill. Uh, no way I was going to be able to get all those out by hand. I'd have had a forearm like Popeye. <laughs> Not happening. Here we are, the first trimming of the gunnel. Got it pretty cut back, pretty nice, grounded. But from here, still needed quite a bit of work as far as beveling all those edges out so that we could get some good uh, adhesion with the glass and uh, Good, good amount of stuff to bite to whenever we put the new glass up. All right, here is what we was talking about earlier. Got the power drill out. We're not messing around now. It's time to get the screws out. Power drilling here with one hand and. Uh, one hand with the video camera, a little more difficult than I initially thought, but eventually you'll see we get it done. The last screw to drop half the uh, rub row down on this side. There she goes. Now we have our board set in here, kind of propping it up there just to test fit to see how well I think it's going to fit for whenever we put the glass down. We got some kind of contour to be able to put a 90 degree. Uh, angle on the glass. Alright, here we have the glass ground back, kind of feathered out a little bit. Got a nice tapered edge on there so we can get plenty of adhesion with the glass. Every layer is going to make contact with uh, something there so that it doesn't break out later on. This should make for a nice repair. And here's a little trick I learned while doing it. Put this little air blower right here and turned it on like so. I went ahead and muted this so we didn't have to hear the air blower. But turn the air blower on, then you start start grinding here. And it just completely blows all the dust away from you, which is very nice so you don't get all itchy and scratchy. Here I'm still wearing a pair of gloves, Tyvek suit, and of course a nice respirator don't want to have uh, regrets later in life uh, with some kind of lung, lung uh, issues with all this glass. And there we have the beveled edge. Pretty much ready to lay up some glass once we put that board back in and uh, we should be good to go. And there's the bottom piece. We'll work on that in the next uh, video coming soon, part four. And there we are, taped up, board in place, more tape, more uh, paper. Here's our first layer of glass. Come up real nice. I knew he was going to have to be doing several layers here. And let's see how many layers it takes. All right, here's layer one. Layer two. layer three and this is where we stopped to ground it down some kind of clean it up with three layers so far and then we start again layer four layer five layer six sand back down again check to see how much uh, more we have to build up Obviously, you can see we need to build up a little bit more. So we go with a layer seven, a layer eight, and that is where I believe we stop with eight layers. 
gave it pretty much the build come up a little bit higher than what the initial uh, gunnel was so he was able to sand that back down nice and flat actually sand a little too far we had to build up a little bit with the gel coat which is pretty much perfect here we go with a little bit of uh, sanding more sanding getting everything flushed up getting ready to put our first layer of gel coat on it to kind of fill all the pin holes and all the trash here's the first layer of gel coat just to seal everything up finish everything off then we did a little bit of uh, filler on top of that didn't get a video or picture of the sanding of that first layer of gel coat but it came out pretty smooth and here is our filler to get everything built up this is going to be painted we are not gel coating the whole boat we're going to paint the boat with all craft 2000 so this is getting ready for that and here's another layer of gel coat just because I had it left over and I feel like it made it a nice way to build it up put it on real thick so it doesn't look pretty and we had an attack of love bugs on this thing I knew it was sanding off with real coarse paper, so didn't care about the texture that you see here. But all right, and here is basically the end of the project for now. We sanded the gel coat down. As you can see, we still got a couple little spots in there we got to touch up, but. This uh, line, this edge, turned out pretty nice. If you stare at it hard enough, you can see a minor change here or there. But uh, for my skill level and for what this boat's going to be used for, it come out perfect to me. Uh, I could spend another day on it getting it just absolutely perfect, but it's pretty darn close right here. So we're going to live with it. By the time we put some non-skid up top there and everything, it's going to be really hard to uh, see the difference. And as you can see here, pretty straight. And this is the end. Thank you for watching.